Hi, this is Rob Packard from Medical Device Academy. This week's live streaming YouTube video is on the topic of RTA holds and how to avoid them. Last week, we covered AI responses. The week before, we covered RTA responses. This week, we're going to talk about how to avoid getting an RTA hold in the first place. The first thing the FDA does when they receive your submission is they submit the review to a screener. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the same person that's going to do your lead uh, review. It could be somebody else, somebody that has less experience, but they go through an RTA checklist to look for the quality of the submission, make sure it's complete, and make sure the content is consistent throughout the various sections. And they have a checklist that they published. The most recent version of that checklist was released in 2019. You don't have to fill it out for them. They'll fill that out. Some people feel it's a help to fill it out. But if you have the right templates in place up front, you shouldn't need to fill out the RTA checklist. You should know that everything is exactly as it should be because you have a template and you know the template meets all the requirements. And you copied information from one section to the other sections to make sure it's consistent rather than paraphrasing what you wrote in another section. We're going to go through the RTA guidance document and we're going to explain how the, the FDA reviewer looks at that checklist and what they're looking for and the kinds of things that are the most common resulting in an RTA hold. But right now, the FDA is still under the COVID uh, pandemic um, work from home order. And so everybody's working remotely and we're seeing a backlog of submissions. And the FDA's only response to that is, Anything that we can put on hold, we are going to put on hold because that helps them on their review clock. So you really have to make sure that you've done everything you can to meet all the requirements of that RTA checklist. So if you have any questions about how to avoid an RTA hold, how to respond to an RTA hold that we didn't address in our previous video, um, please let us know, put it in the discussion below. We're going to um, be posting this initial video in our YouTube um, channel. We're also going to be posting it as an embedded item in our blog for the week. Every Tuesday morning, we post a new blog. And then we're going to replace this with the actual live streaming video after it posts on YouTube. But if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, please check it out. It's at YouTube forward slash Medical Device Academy. And you can check out our blog at medicaldeviceacademy.com forward slash blog. If you have any questions, like I said, please send us our questions, either put it in the discussion and comments below. Um, send me an email at rob at 13485cert.com. Your questions are really what make these live streaming videos the best. They're supposed to be in the, an engaging um, live interview where you get a chance to answer your questions. So please send us the questions and, and you will have an opportunity to type it in the chat box if you're able to attend at that time. And if you send me the questions ahead of time, then I'll try to answer those during the live session because I'll look at the questions ahead of time. Thank you very much and looking forward to seeing you live on Friday. Bye-bye.